ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for being here. I just want to let you guys know how much I do appreciate all the very kind words and likes and uh, subscribes and the comments and stuff like that below. Uh, truly means a lot to me. Helps really helps me keep me uh, motivated to continue on with these videos. I'm going to confess, it's a little hard to sit down on a Saturday and crank one of these videos out, but I'm doing it for the good of the people who are following this coin. Now let's go ahead and start with the last place we left off, which was uh, yesterday, and for the like the last week. I've been saying, watch out for this April 17th date at about 3 a.m. I've been saying this, folks, for the last 5, 10 days. Watch out for this time. Uh, turns out there was a significant uh, event in price action, which was great to see. Uh, here we have another Fibonacci time zone coming up. Interestingly enough, it intersects with this golden ratio Fibonacci extension and the upper part of the channel. Now, I thought that was fascinating as all could be, uh, primarily because I'm hoping this marks the point, April 20th. Happy 420 to all of you who partake in uh, that holiday. But this could be a pivot point uh, where we start seeing this upward trajectory. I'm hoping that's the case. Otherwise, if the bottom falls off, you can see that this is going to get nasty really quick, falling from the top of a channel down to the bottom more than likely. Uh, and and it, it will get bad, trust me on that, if the bottom falls off. Uh, but like I said, I think uh, the way we've been holding the 61.8 line for the last 10 days is a great sign that there is a lot of support here. Uh, so that makes me very optimistic still that we could possibly see this cup and handle the right shoulder form sometime early May. Uh, this this could definitely be uh, what the setup is starting to look like, especially if we see some upward momentum from the April 20th uh, Fibonacci time zone. Uh, I'm expecting to see something significant happen here uh, with these indicators. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, you know, it's just so I'm just so interested in how all these lines and stuff kind of come to an intersection at this point in time. So that's uh, that's very cool. Uh, let's scrap this all right now. And let's go to the two-hour chart. The two-hour charts, one of my favorite charts. Um, and like I was mentioning before, I think this was on the two hour chart. Uh, I was kind of hoping that we could kind of sneak above the cloud through here, but, um, you know, we'll need some buyers to step in to kind of crank this price up. If we do see some, uh, Elliott wave theory happen, uh, we very well could, uh, could see uh, a, a little break to the upside here, uh, which would be nice to, to get us back up in this range, uh, maybe form that ascending triangle that gets us up to uh, where we need to be for that, I think it was May 4th date. Uh, so really, um, you know, mathematics and Fibonacci are important. Uh, you should all be learning how to use them uh, I, I've been using and trading that way for a long time, and it shows that, you know, when we're uh, anticipating or able to calculate and figure out future potential pivot points, not necessarily the dollar value, uh, you know, pivot points are, are almost as important, if not more important than being able to try to guess the dollar value, because nobody can really uh, efficiently guess the top and bottoms. Uh, but we have a better chance of uh, of predicting when things will uh, reverse, maybe see some new highs or lows through Fibonacci. 
Um, so everything's looking good for now. We can see the cloud movement was trading diagonally down. Now it's trading sideways. I'm hoping to see some more green candles form here and kind of form a setup that looks like this, but in reverse here. I mean, it kind of looks very similar. You can see this little J hook. Um, we, we may see something like this happen um, soon. So uh, that's about all I got for you guys today. Um, you know, I'm still holding my CKB. I'm sitting at 75,000 CKB. Uh, I did sell a little bit off here uh, because I, I knew it just wasn't going to last. And I will definitely uh, be buying some more uh, back uh, in a little bit. Uh, or else I'll just wait for the next dip. Uh, we will be doing a video on Ethereum to Bitcoin as well coming up. So if you are holding ETH, you may want to check that out. Uh, this is all I got for you guys today on CKB. Uh, we're still waiting. Uh, it, it'll be, I think, on 420 that we may see some sort of pivot point or something really uh, new high or new low. It could very well be the top of uh, Elliott Wave Theory, like I was kind of speculating. Uh, that would be great to see, uh, something like this. Uh, we could definitely trade this if that happens. So we'll know more tomorrow. Uh, or the next day, if, uh, if if we do see Elliott Wave form here, we're definitely going to make some trades uh, because we can sell this pop, buy on the drop, and then go for a ride. Uh, this isn't financial advice, by the way, at all. This is just my honest TA. Uh, so please treat this as uh, entertainment only. Uh, if Again, if you see... Anybody in the comments trying to uh, act as uh, if they are me, uh, that is false. I will never try to ask anybody for their phone numbers or anything through the comments section at all. So thank you all again for being here, and we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Stay tuned for that ETH video as well.